Hi guys, this is Bo. Uh, so if you just bought an iPhone or an iPad or any kind of Apple device that requires a, uh, an Apple ID, uh, chances are uh, they'll walk you through the um, uh, you know step by step and it might ask you if you want to turn on two-factor authentication now if um, you know for most people who is security conscious you want to turn it on and uh, whether you turn it on by accident or if you turn it on intentionally uh, there's no way to turn it off once you turn it on so um, <clears throat> I'm gonna say um, uh, personally for me um, uh, I wish uh, I had never turned it on because uh, what happened is I have like five or six Apple devices and then suddenly once you turn on the two-factor all those other devices requires now you to re-log into the device and then ask for the two-factor um, random numbers and uh, so what happened is um, well the problem is the first time it asks you, it asks you for the telephone number, and the telephone number is fine because it just texts you the random number, you key it in, and then any devices that's activated after that requires that iPad or that iPhone, uh, and if you don't have an iPhone, then you're screwed because then it's going to ask you for your iPad, and then on your iPad, you got to pop up that random number. Well, anyway, the point is, it's just very annoying. Every time you sign into a device, uh, uh, you get an alert. And uh, well, anyway, um, so the p point is, you can't turn it off. Um, now, if you go into um, um, the Apple uh, FAQ, it's gonna say you you just can't turn it off. It's once it's locked, you're you're just two factored all the way. And um, there is a little loophole though. <laughs> so uh, you can get around this by saying, hey, I didn't really mean to turn it on. So I got compromised. And anyway, once when they email you that first email that says two factor was turned on, there's a link in that email that says, hey, uh, I didn't mean to, uh, or somebody uh, gained my account and I need to regain my uh, account. So when you click on that link, it's going to ask you to um, uh, first of all verify your, your password and then second of all it's going to ask you to change your password because they assume your account has been compromised and so um, you know, they'll ask you for a really long complicated password uh, that's fine make up a very complicated password but then what you're going to do is probably go back and and change it back to your old password that, uh, that you, you're likely to use more often or remember uh, anyway so um, yeah, once you change it, uh, it's gonna uh, set, set uh, take you back to uh, just a one-factor authentication, which is uh, so much better, uh, in my opinion. And I see the problem is I just have too many devices, and uh, uh, if you turn it on the two-factor, now every device is gonna ask you for for the change. So. And it's very annoying. You just gotta. Uh, in, in my case, I didn't have an iPhone, so I had to carry this iPad all around and then just walk around, just keying in random numbers uh, because uh, it, it, all my devices started just just wanting to be updated. Anyway, um, the other problem with two factor is um, if you have really old um, uh, Apple devices that uh, pre like iOS 11 or whatever. Uh, you there's no pop-up option so when you key it when you try to to download an application it's asking for for a password and then it's asking for the second two-factor authentication you cannot enter in uh, that number because uh, iOS uh, you know 10 or iOS 7 uh, just won't doesn't have the capability to have a pop-up screen for you to enter in that second number so in those cases, those uh, you can't update at all uh, if you have two-factor turned on. And uh, you, in fact, you probably can't even activate it. I mean, let's say you bought a really old iPad, like two for some reason, uh, and you try to activate it, uh, you can't because it, if you have uh, two-factor on, you can't turn it on. Uh, so you, you won't even allow it uh, on your account but if you create a brand new account without the two-factor you can activate it well anyway it's just a long uh, crazy uh, thing that Apple just won't allow you to turn it off 
uh, you, they can solve all this if they just allow you to turn it off. Uh, but anyway, I'm very upset about this, by the way. So, and I just want you guys to know that um, if you do uh, turn it on, this is how you can turn it off. And also, I mean, I'm I'm not against. I'm not for um, someone hacking your account or anything. I mean. Um, if you're security conscious, definitely turn on the two-factor. If you don't mind the extra security and stuff like that, but but in my case, I I, I don't really have anything uh, too crazy tied to my uh, Apple account that that uh, that I'm I'm okay with just having just uh, my regular password and and email. But anyway, so um, yeah, thank you for listening.